morning sun, how are you? Skies above, gee, it's great to be alive and love. Good, good, good morning sun. Good, good morning light. Good morning sun, how are you? Skies above, gee, it's great. After posting my last video saying that I want to make my boat look like a rover or a reaver, a fella from Dubai, Luke Chang, an absolute legend, sent me all this awesome information. I love the internet for this. I've got every dimension I could ever want. I haven't done any sketches this good ever. Um, it's taking me a while to get used to Rhino can, but um, it's good enough for me to get measurements from. It's better than me going back and forwards asking for measurements. I just, um, with a couple of clicks, so I can get whatever measurement I want. One thing he did say is that if he did it again, he would raise the roof. So I'm already, I was already considering doing this, but now I think I'll definitely do it, even though I'm gonna make the top pop. <laughs> so it'll go up with actuators, I'll, um, I still want to be able to get in and walk around inside um, easy enough. So I didn't want to change the shape too much, but I, I'll um, lift it up maybe a hundred mil or so. I, I don't know, how, how high do you reckon I should go? <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, this thing's awesome. I got the curve pretty good too. Like when I thought that the the windows curved as much as they did. Not as round as I first initially thought. I think I got a pretty good shape. The other thing Luke said is it's not a French design, it's an Italian design. So sorry about that, Italy. <laughs> I want a long bowsprit so I can fish from it. I want to be able to get some awesome views from from the front while it's going. So 900 will be where the anchor rollers will end and the anchor will actually end if it's on at 1350, which is past the shed. And there's no way I'll be able to shut the back and the front at the same time. But yeah, this is what I was kind of thinking. I want to make it so nothing's round, just like the rest of the boat. I want to have like a nice duckboard out the back. You guys will laugh when I, I tell you this. It like, if if I um make like a little fold up bit there and then fold it out that way, you know, like those super yachts, I know that it's not a super yacht, but <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to make it wider. <laughs> just when it's at rest. And the other thing is I want to put ballast in, in it and I want to make this go up and down on actuators. So now you'll definitely be laughing if you weren't laughing before. And I'm going to put lasers coming out of it. I just want to clarify that 900 is hooked 
over there, 900 will be there. So it'll actually only be about 450 or 500 overhang, which is at least half or over half will, yeah, so it's got some bad leverage here. So what I'm thinking is I'll make this, I've got to recess it in into here. So I've got to cut this section of the top of the deck out and and um, the bowsprit will be a separate panel because it'll probably crack if I fiberglass it make another panel that goes that that clips on and then my stainless will insert into the part that i make that bolts onto here or it'll probably squash on with the stainless and um if you know what i mean i'll show you anyway maybe if i put the buoyancy in this when these slide out it won't uh, i don't know we'll see what happens I'm trying to make it so when the anchor is in, uh, it's easier to show you. So it'd be nice if this was flush with the top of the deck, not, not this bit. So then you'd be able to sit on the bow without sitting on the chain. I don't know, I think it'll look a bit weird though. Overthinking the heck out of everything. It's 130 mil to there. Can anyone tell me, Is can I mount this like that or like that? Doesn't matter. And I just reverse the polarity to bring it up or down. Uh, yeah, I'll probably look at it, but uh, if anyone can tell me that, that would be good. So this is what my anchor configuration is going to be looking like. That there is the drum anchor winch. That's a basic shape of the hull where it's the overhang. The tricky bit is getting this roller at the right spot. Make it so the rope just clears the, the recess that I've made here. Yep, now I've got to make it into real life. Gotta hide these stickers from my squidgly little son. But I've um, haven't forgotten to put some holes in here for um, the air compressor, so I can blow the mold out. Then I'm just gonna tape it again. <laughs> it looks like a real work of art. Man, what a disaster. I got greedy. I shouldn't have done all the layers in one hit. Oh, well. <coughs> okay, I leveled it up again. It's slightly higher because I made the horsey things to stabilize it so it doesn't move now. I uh, made them slightly too high, but anyway. I should have made these supports when I first flipped it, but I didn't. Now I have. Now it's nice and solid. I can uh, sand it and push against it and not worry about it toppling over.
what you just saw me do is put some fiberglass there. I did that because to make the angle more swooped back on the on the bulge, I um I need some more meat. I, I glued that on instead of using <laughs> lots of bog, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll shape that tomorrow when it's hardened or the next day. So this is what I've come up with for supporting the anchor hatch. I would not copy how I've done this. I completely bodged this, but um, I've just made like a bunch of um, strips because I'm low on Kusa. And then underneath, I've buttoned it up with these tags of steel just to hold it all together to make it easier to screw in and the reason I've done this weird way of making a surrounding for the hatch is because I want this to be as low profile as possible and um, the deck is curved everywhere so that Kusa after I screw it up and glue it there it'll bend to that shape and that's why I've got the hatch bent to that shape as well. Realistically I should have just made a border on here. It would have been easier. Yeah. Anyway, don't copy how I've done this. This is a painful, stupid way of doing it. You know when you do something that you just don't feel right about, but you do it anyway? Well, that's what I just did with that. <laughs> I hope it works out. So what my plan is, is to make a little moat just out of fiberglass, and then that will be cut down even further and then probably routed down. I completely stuffed everything out like a, I should have done it in a complete different order. I could make that out of um, fiberglass. I could just use that as a mold and, and or a plug and then make a mold. I want it to be heavy because the subwoofer is going in that section there and anything light, it'll make it sound nicer, I think. I can always make it a lighter one down the track. It'll be faster if I just run with that now. <laughs> And then I've got to make like a backing plate under here, all in that front section. Um, but I don't want to do that until I've made the bowsprit. And then I'll I'll just glue and screw that, and then um, and then I'll get on to uh, glassing that in after I fair after I fair that I will glass it onto there. So I want to get it half decent while it's easy to get to. And then, um, and then I'll glue it onto there. <sighs> Hope that came out all right. And I used epoxy resin glue for that with aerosols because I really want that to stick on hard and I completely stuffed <laughs> that up. So I'll, I'll probably still use polyester to run over it but after I rough it up and sand it and smooth it off. But yeah, I, I just wanted to use epoxy, so I gave it every chance to stick because all the pressure is going to be around that lip. Idiot.
So I'm definitely not good at making molds that stay together and be reusable, but good enough to get something out of them. Bit of cleaning up and she'll be right. <laughs> and bogging and... I really have to do a big clean up. And I've got a new toy, I'm gonna sell that one. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. It is a little bit of work to make it look nice. This bit's not the important bit. That side looks a lot nicer. Still not perfect, but... It looks terrible. I stuffed it up. I'm gonna have to redo this, I'm pretty sure. If I just made the whole lot that level, so it would have made it a lot easier to build and lighter. Oh, gotta build another one. And I've started bogging all that as well. So hopefully the next video will be more exciting. <laughs> this one's, yeah, uh, it's.
the fast things This one out, broke off, just left it not moving. <laughs> this is the mechanism. I had this rebuilt and uh, we chromed, it actually broke off on this, this section here. Build that back and then we serviced all these and had them re chromed. Works pretty well. Use a lot of air. 